We are now a month back into our new ways of working and it is great to be back in school. Most students seem to be meeting my expectations brilliantly and so I thought it might be useful just to run through how I think I can best support all students this year. For lessons I've produced written explanation resources as well as workbooks to support students who are absent from a lesson or of course for use if I fall ill. This means that you actually also have an opportunity to read ahead to prepare for our lessons in school or to go back and review in detail what we've done in class. Every question in the workbook has got a modelled answer and this should help students if you need to self-assess and improve on your first attempts. If you are absent, you should continue to work through the work and I will post where we have got to in class every Friday on the stream in your Google Classroom. All the resources are in the Classwork tab on your Google Classroom, but you have been provided with paper copies of everything that is essential. I have been impressed with the focus of students in class. It has been great to see students making the most of our in-class time together. Homework is an essential part of preparing for a GCSE assessment. I reward homework effort and therefore I need to see evidence of that effort. Where I can, I try and avoid you having to photograph everything and upload work. I allocate homework time to structured revision activities. So for example, a revision mat, a homework booklet steps 1 to 6, the homework booklet steps 7 to 8. For steps 1 and 8, there are Google Forms set as assignments, so you can do those checklists and show me the evidence immediately. For steps 2, 3 and 4, I've set up all of the core questions, all of the keywords and the equations for every topic as sets on Quizlet. My paid teacher account allows me to see your effort with each set. And then to feedback on revision mats and other steps, I've set a final Google form assignment too, to again try and help avoid you feeling you've got to photograph everything and upload everything separately. Without your feedback, I cannot plan additional support that you might need. Without your evidence and communication, I'm not always going to know that you've been making your best effort. Some things to note from the first month. My email address for communication is my work email address rather than the Gmail address that is newer. If you want a prompt reply, please use my old work email address that I have used for years. Extra resources are available on my Google Drive and you have access to them, but all essential materials are in your Google Classroom in the Classwork tab. Extra support is provided. I do that using YouTube and you have QR codes and links where appropriate, but I also do it with individual feedback and by replying to emails, so you do need to check for that feedback. I only see evidence of your use on Quizlet if you are signed in when you do it and if you have called yourself by your real name. Seneca and Isaac Physics are there for optional extras. It is brilliant if you do it and I credit that effort, but they are not compulsory. If you want access to them, you should have it. You've been provided with the codes, but if you want to use it and you can't, then you need to get in touch and I'll help you further. In class, as a minimum, I would expect you to turn up every lesson with your workbook. The resources are ideal to bring to, for example, especially if I was ill. When it comes to reporting, I can only base any teacher assessment that I give on the evidence that I have for you and that I've built up for you over time. If you are making an effort, you need to make sure you are clearly showing that effort to me. You need to communicate that effort to me. You do need to check your Google Classroom. You need to check your inbox for communications from me too. Please do not just use the to-do list, that way you will miss important information.
I'm sure I'm going to look back later and wish there was something else I added to that list, but at the moment, they are the main things that I think we need to focus on to be successful this year.